Good morning, everybody. Elena here from RU Ireland. So um, that building in the, in the distance is where I'm going to be exploring uh, today. So I'm on the other side at the moment, on the banks of River Lee in Cork City. So why am I here? Just I wanted you to give um, I wanted to give you the view of this building. So it's quite long. I think it's almost a mile long. So um, I'll try and get up close. It's uh, quite an interesting building, and you'll find out why in uh, in a bit. Keep watching. So guys, quite busy this morning is Sunday as well, and um, I am at City um, Jail in Cork. Fabulous, uh, fabulous building. Why am I here? I'm here not to do a tour of the jail because I have done this uh, twice before already. And um, so the Cork City Jail is also a radio museum and it's open 360 uh, days a year. Um, actually, it's also open for events. It's, um, yeah, it's quite good to explore and you get fabulous, fabulous views um, over the Cork City from here. If you kind of going that way but um, I'm here to tell you a story about the second mental asylum in Ireland called St Anne's and um, I'm looking for it and it's not the easiest place to get to so I stopped here and I've asked for directions so I'm gonna go ahead there but it's roughly uh, about three minutes away so it's in the same area of Sunday's well in Cork um, if you fancy coming out here to see the jail, you might as well see the spooky mental hospital building. Not, no longer functioning, of course, but uh, it was the second. And um, there's some few facts about that building. Now standing derelict, um, looking over the River Lee in Cork. And uh, yeah, it's a city centre, quite a Porsche area sound as well. Uh, there's a church and there's some fabulous views if you can get to them because you have to kind of go <laughs> Look over the wall a bit and um, Yeah, if you're interested to see the gel I'll put a link below I'll put a link below to the website And if you're visiting Cork, it's um, worthwhile. I think the ticket is between five and eight euro so and some days they do free tours so there we are actually originally you know you could see this building if you are taking a walk in Fitzgerald Park or just driving along or if you um, seen any pictures of Cork um, this would probably feature in some of them so originally I thought that this was an old convent um, building and I thought they converted it into flats um, I wasn't completely wrong so this part is converted into flats as you can see all the cars here and um, it looks quite nice and quirky and um, characteristic you know so I wouldn't mind living in this building I guess um, <laughs> for you didn't know complete history of it but um, I so it was a mental asylum and um, then it just lies abandoned now most of the building it is the longest building in Ireland and possibly in Europe so like it just goes on and on <laughs> and the whole site which um, has some other buildings is 53 acres right um, it is available for sale and development you know unfortunately though um, no takers but uh, the area is Sunday as well and it's uh, quite a nice area in Cork City so you could see the views now from it are quite fabulous so there's a lot of hills in Cork and you could see it from here since we are high up uh, place is not easiest to find but uh, what you just need to do is ask somebody Google Maps will not lead you here but um, quite a lot went on here and uh, back in the day the conditions were quite rough 
and um, you know I suppose you know our state has a lot to answer but um, nonetheless it's uh, I'm here for the first time right up close um, it's quite spooky and uh, do you know kind of Harry Potter style <laughs> Um, a lot of people that I know, when I told them about this, would actually like to come and uh, look what it's like inside. I wouldn't fancy myself. I think it's uh, crawling with rats, and um, you know, I. It is possible that drug addicts maybe uh, seek shelter there, and maybe it is also explored by teenagers for drinking purposes. So I, I you know, it's not the cleanest environment. <laughs> So I wouldn't really risk going inside, but I think if we was tidied up a little, it would be a fantastic place, uh, like a film location or something. And um, so it looks actually quite a bit smaller from when you're looking from the distance, as I showed you earlier in this video. It looks uh, massive and grand, just kind of. Um, overlooking the River Lee, but it's uh, so this is like a chapel part of it, you know. A lot of work went in here, and uh, unfortunately, it's just lying empty and unused at the prime location in Cork City. So you could see the this tall building there, it's one of the government buildings. You could see the mosque at the distance and the green hills. Sunny day, but of course, you know, on the camera, it's a uh, very mixed weather. There we're coming up to this very, very derelict part of this building and the sign. So I won't be able to go much further unfortunately but there are still parts of the buildings there that I can't get up to see there is a uh, glass missing and uh, you know roof is quite in a bad state of this particular part of the building yeah definitely um, a hazard, but I do love the architecture. Mm. For <laughs> it's quite fancy for a mental asylum, I think. You know the style of it. I wrote a blog post about it, so I'm gonna link it back um, in the comment section there if you like to read a bit more about the history of this building and. Um, you know, I'm gonna put a link for the area as well. So no idea if you want to live in those apartments. I've no idea how you rent one or go about uh, buying one. No idea. Um, there might be even some on Airbnb. Who knows? Anything is possible. But you know, I think it's one of the spookiest houses in Europe <laughs> that I've seen, and I think it's certainly. Can be interesting for some people to explore if you're in Cork or heading to Ireland. <laughs> okay. So Melina, it's about to start to rain here in um, Cork. So um, just to give you a little bit of an up update, uh, so I'm over 38 weeks now pregnant. Here's the bump. Don't know if you can see the bump. So any day now, <laughs> we're expecting our little baby, and uh, very exciting. Started to rain, weather very mixed, but um, we're gonna continue making videos. Maybe might be a little break, a week or two in the videos, but uh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so subscribe to my channel and um, keep up with me on Twitter, and also have a blog spot. Vlog. <laughs> Bye for now. Hope you're having a good day no matter where you are.